You probably recognise this. And I bet you know this. Does this one ring a bell? And how about this? Yes, they're just a few of the mega masterpieces of the giant German composer Ludwig van Beethoven. In his 57 years on this earth, he knocked out nine symphonies, 32 piano sonatas, one opera, five piano concertos, plus a whole bunch of string quartets and other stuff. So let's find out about him. Beethoven was born in Bonn, today part of Germany, into, surprise, surprise, a musical family. His dad was a singer and a music teacher. His mum, Maria, was the daughter of a cook. They had seven kids, and typical of those days, only Ludwig and his two younger brothers survived. Beethoven's grandfather had been the number one musician in the city for many years, and his portrait hung in Ludwig's bedroom to remind him what a great musical heritage he had to live up to. No pressure, mate. His father, Johann, was a total slave driver who beat him and made him cry as he practiced. He was dead set on making him into the new Mozart. At 10, he started learning with Mr. Nafer, the city's court organist. Nafer had spotted Beethoven's amazing talent and he taught him about playing and writing music. By the time he was 12, Beethoven had nailed composing and produced his first piano pieces. When he was just 17, Beethoven's mother fell ill and died, and Ludwig suddenly had to look after his two younger brothers. His dad, Johann, who'd always been fond of the booze, had turned into a drunk. But Beethoven had a stroke of luck when the fabulous and famous composer Joseph Haydn came through Bonn on his way to London and popped in to meet this promising young musician people were talking about. On the way back, the great Haydn invited Beethoven to come and study under him in Vienna, the mega music hub and hotspot capital of the Austrian Empire. Vienna! The big time! Finally! So Beethoven set off for the bright lights of the big city, he met up with Haydn and his music career got started. What was the music scene in Vienna like? Well, there was opera and singing, little dance tunes and polite background music at smart parties. Don't forget, Vienna was looking for a new superstar kid to replace Mozart, who had died in the same city only five years earlier. There was a bunch of eager young composers trying to be the next big thing, but Beethoven was soon recognised as Vienna's star music maker. He quickly became known for his exciting compositions and his passionate performances, and people did start to sit and listen. Remember Mozart always had money troubles? How did Ludwig manage? Well by performing, by composing and selling his compositions, and by giving piano lessons. A big sign of his real value to Vienna came when three of his biggest fans, super tough aristocrats, clubbed together to give him a salary, and they didn't want anything in return. He just had to stay in town and compose. Talk about righteous generosity. About this time, Beethoven noticed that he was losing his hearing. People had to shout at him, and he had to thump his piano extra hard to hear the vibrations. Then he started using an ear trumpet. Next, he moved on to conversation books, where his friends would write what they wanted to say, and he would answer by speaking or writing. And a sad story tells of the day he went for a walk with his friend. They passed a shepherd playing his flute in the countryside, and Ludwig could see from the expression on his friend's face that it was a touching and lovely tune, but he couldn't hear a thing. His love life was another disaster. Once or twice he fell madly in love with the upper-class young women who came to him for piano lessons, but they were far too high-born and grand to marry just a musician. As a gesture of his love, he dedicated his Moonlight Sonata to one of his major crushes, Countess Julie Giucardi. So, Beethoven was unlucky in love and he was completely deaf. Aren't you impressed that these struggles didn't stop him? He carried on composing because he could hear the notes in his mind as he wrote. Just imagine, he wrote his Ninth Symphony without ever hearing it himself. 
If you want to wow your friends and family, you can talk about Beethoven's three periods. The early period is after he arrived in Vienna and was still a rookie composer, trying stuff out. The middle period is when he knew he was going deaf. In his bold, confident music, you can almost hear the idea of a heroic struggle. By the late period, he may have been deaf, but he was super famous, super confident, and super inspired by deep, meaningful ideas. Beethoven died in the middle of a massive thunderstorm, aged 56 on the 26th of March, 1827. Unlike the pauper's burial Mozart had, Beethoven was massively famous and 20,000 people came to his funeral in Vienna. He left us music that can make you think, that can touch your heart, lift your spirits or bring on the tears. And in his life, he fought his own tough battles and came out on top. He'll never be forgotten. Thank you, Beethoven. (laughs) 